woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I rush out, bitch, now I'm focused on your fine. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. Okay. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? The Real 10K Squad back again with another long awaited relationship talk video. Yes, y'all. We, we, we got to come with these a little more often because we had some people that really enjoyed relationship talk videos. They did. Y'all did. But y'all understand life, how life goes, man. We got three kids that are growing up on us. Y'all, yesterday was our oldest birthday. And just 20 days ago was the middle's birthday. Yes, yeah, so y'all know how life goes. We be busy with with kids, with working. With just life in general. With dialysis, we be busy. Yeah. But um, anyway, we asked y'all for a topic and y'all came through. Now, I see some topics we done did before. I'm kind of mad that we don't have these older videos so we could have just up re uploaded them or for the or ones redirect you to yeah. To they hadn't seen it. But we gonna I'm I'm not even gonna lie and say we're gonna redo those over because we not. If we see something new that's interesting then we'll do these new topics. And I seen something interesting so I'm gonna read this topic to y'all and we're gonna get on to it. All right. This one comes from La Monica Blair. I don't know if she wanted her name said. I'm sorry if you didn't. Y'all let me know if y'all want to stay. At... It's on the community board. I mean, but some people still. People... No, no, that's when you hit. No, that's when you hit somebody at DM. It's on the community board. But who reads the community board? People who get the comments read it because they leave in more comments. It's on the community board. How well, you gonna get mad? Be like, oh, my name said. It's on well, the community well, board. Let me, let me say this. If it's on the community board, I'm going to shout your name out if you sent it. If you send us a private email, private DM, then I won't say your name if you don't want it to be but said. No, say you don't want your name said. Yeah, that's what yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. if you don't want it to be said. Okay. So, here we go. Um, Miss Blair said, couple has a brand new baby. The mom stays home with the baby. Dad goes to work. He works long hours, but still comes home and takes over the baby at night so the mom can get a break for a while. Do you guys think that's fair to the dad or should the mom be more understanding that the dad has been at work all day and continue to take care of the baby herself? Okay, we're going to answer this first part and then we'll answer the second one. So, now remember she says She's been at, the, at home with the baby all day. Daddy been at work all day. He comes home and takes over with the baby. So the mom can get a break. Do we think that's fair to the dad? I'm going to say... Ooh, ooh, can no. I go? Okay, go. No, go ahead. You no, tell you, your no, reason. You, you wanna, okay. Cause I wanna, then I tell my reason. Okay, because I, I want to say that in this situation, we have two jobs here. Mm -hmm. We have two jobs because being a, being a, being a stay at home mom is a full time job. Right. So we have two jobs here. Facts. So we have we have two. Well, for some women it's a full time job. Some women be doing shit, but we got full we have, it's full time job here. So I feel like if I'm coming home from my work to give you a break from your job, then who the hell are giving me a break from my job? You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm coming home and doing two jobs for the day. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that the man shouldn't, shouldn't, you know, take care of his baby because you both have responsibility in, you know, helping with the child. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like if a man been working up on his feet, working hard to provide for the household all day, you know what I'm saying? Then I don't think you should come, he should come home and have a baby thrown in his lap. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to say... No, I'm going to say because he's been at work all day, he needs a break as well. Let him get, if now, if he wants to come in, you know, have a little daddy, daughter, son time, you know, feed, feed a couple of bottles, change a diaper here and there, then he can do that. But if he just not rushing in the house to do that, 
then you gotta be understandable because he's been out working all day. Um and he just need a break himself. Now I understand that you need a break. Hey, I was I'm a mother of three when I had my last child. Excuse me. Travis could tell you. I used to get what what was you saying? The reason why you like took over? Cause I, I can I can see the I can see the frustration. I can see the um I could I could tell by the frustration on you that, you know, it was just starting to become too much. Like I, I think that that postpartum is real. Like I didn't understand it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, postpartum, what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? But I could tell it's real. Like you could see it just just from when you have a baby that's just, you know what I'm saying, it's just crying all day, just doing this. It can't, the baby, you can't get no sleep because the baby up and when you trying to finally get the baby to sleep and you trying to get him sleep and the baby wake up again, you know what I'm saying? It becomes a little too much. So I saw that. So in our situation, it was like, you didn't have to, you didn't have to tell me, I'm a night person, you know what I'm saying? So I'd be up all night, you know what I'm saying? I had to make myself go to sleep. So the thing is, at nighttime, I would get, you know, and a lot of time I'd be out, like, in our old place, I used to be in the living room on my computer, messing with my music stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, I would get the baby and bring the baby out of the room, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just, you know, rock her to sleep, play with her, feed her, do whatever, change it, you know what I'm saying? But, make it where you can go to sleep, you know what I'm saying? Then when the baby finally get to sleep, I bring the baby back in the room, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I start doing this, like, every night because I start understanding that it was a little too much like all day you know what I'm saying being with a baby and not getting the proper rest you know what I'm saying yeah so that's why I say I understand what you're going through so if you are fortunate to have someone that's cause at that time you can almost say I was a stay at home mom but he worked from home yeah so if you're fortunate to have that type of um, situation and that's good but if you're not then maybe you have to try to get outsource help from family members, like get his mom to come through and come and maybe stay a week or a weekend. Get your mom yeah. to come through and stay a week or a weekend. But I think it's unfair to him if he has to come home and get the baby. Like when he's been work, he probably want to come home, take a shower, eat a hot meal. You know, and just sit relax, down and a, little relax yeah. a little bit. You know, it's okay for him to get the baby on the weekends or some some weekends because you know if he's working Monday through Friday, his weekends is all he got. He gonna want to take a little rest too. So that's how I feel on that. Now the second part, she say, uh, or should the mom be more understanding? Should the mom be more understanding of the dad? Been working all day and continue to take care of the baby herself. No, no. Now, the mom, I do think the mom should be understanding of that her husband, her boyfriend, the baby daddy, been working all day. But don't still push this all on you because like Travis just said, postpartum depression is real. That will set you in depressed mode. Like you got to be up with this baby all day, all night with the baby by yourself during the daytime, you're going to lose it. So like I said, you got to outsource some, a friend, a, a family member, somebody that you trust that can come in your house and say, girl, go take a nap. I got the baby for a couple of, couple of hours. Or, or, some, or, some, or somebody you trust, somebody you trust enough that can even say, you know, I'm going to take the baby, you know what I'm saying, just, to my house for a little while. For, you know, for the so weekend. A, a day or, or two. You know what I'm saying? A couple of hours. Yeah, to let you. I think, I think not even a weekend. I think sometimes you just need to reset and breathe. You know what I'm saying? Like I, when, mean, I mean, yeah, you need to reset and breathe, but a couple of hours is not going to do it if you've been there all day and all night. You got to think about it. Just think if, if in her situation, the baby dad works Monday through Friday mm. and he's gone from sun up to sundown. And when he gets home, he's tired too. And he like, I, I need rest. She's doing this Monday through Friday. 
Sometimes it's okay to say, can somebody get the baby for the weekend? Now you be he'll be a super dad and and sometimes people say, Well, he should just step into that super dad role and understand that she need a break and he needs to get that baby when he get home. But you know what though? Some people say that. But you know, that's bullshit. I'm gonna tell you why. That's that that means you're a lazy ass excuse for a mother to me. Because my thing is, why he gotta be a super dad and step into that role and just get the baby? If that's the case, you should continue to take care of the baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little different. I understand being at home and taking care of the kids is, is, is work too. You know what I'm saying? But it's a little different when your ass out there working all day long. You know what I'm saying? It is a little different. So, that's not fair when you saying what he should do and you're not doing it. You know what I'm saying? I always say that. Don't ever ask somebody to do something that you're not willing to do. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, if he should be doing that, why shouldn't you be doing it? I didn't say the mother. I said some people would say, you know, he can come home and give you give you some break or give you some let you get. But where's his and, and that's and that's okay if some if some dads do that because you got some dads who say, you know, I know I've been working all day, and I see you need a break. Yeah, go that's ahead. My, that's my choice. I did it by choice. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and I think it's. With babies, it's a little bit harder. Now, if it was like older kids, like we talking about three-year-old to like five or something, then okay, yeah, the husband can come home and say, go ahead, go get you some rest. I got this because it's a they're older and he's able to control them a little bit more. Well, first of all, the mommy sleeps, sit your hands down. <laughs> so he's able saying? to control them a little bit better than he could with with a baby because people gotta understand sometimes babies just want their mamas. I ain't never had it like because I, I, I guess I know how to deal with babies. Oh, they different. But you're right. But still, sometimes daddies can't always get the baby to stop crying. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes they just want their mama. It was plenty of times when Riley just wanted me. Yeah. Even when you had her. Yeah. She would bust out crying and you couldn't get her to stop crying. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, it's a little bit different. But I don't think now one of them are being selfish. I just think they should have somebody to help. I think it is a little selfish at some point. You know what I'm saying? Because, and I'm... And, 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 what? Cool. A lot of people are going to disagree with me on this situation. A lot of women are going to disagree with me in this situation. But I do think it's a little selfish because at, at one time, at one time, and I ain't trying to say, you know, that that was an old time, but at one time, a mother was, that's what she was. She was a she was house mom. She took care of the kids. That's what she took care of the home. She cooked, she cleaned. That's what she did. You know what I'm saying? The man went out and worked. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the mother took, I'm, that's the old time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That time has changed, though. And so it's like now, it's like, it's like, you know, I stay at home, I take care of the kids, but I need you to take care of the kids too. You know what I'm saying? And work. Because you got to understand some of these women are not built like how your great grandmothers was or your grandmamas or hell, some of our mamas. Yeah. They're not built that way and they're not built that way because the generation, my People didn't raise my generation up well to know I got to do certain things. That's what that's what you really looked at. Mama's like grandma's and was really like the term superwoman. Like ain't nothing grandma can't do. You know what I'm saying? Like grandma ain't go grandma go cook clean. You know what I'm saying? Wash all the clothes, clean up the whole house. And take care of the kids. But you, right, got you, know some, you got some mothers that are doing that, but at the same time, like I said, people just need breaks. Hell, I was doing that, and I just needed breaks that time. Like with with my and you got understand this. With mine and I, they they are a year apart, and for twenty days they're the same age. Yeah. When they were babies, my auntie was like, "You got postpartum de- depression." And I didn't know what understand or know what that was, but because I was working and I was raising these two by myself and, and I had all this shit going on, it was just like I never had 
no downtime for me. Even on my off days, it was like babies this, babies that, baby this. I didn't have nobody to help me. So it was like, okay, um, what is this feeling like you're going through? Like I said, I understand it. Sometimes you just need a break. That's true. Like, I was super mom. I did it all. But sometimes I just needed breaks. And and I get where people are saying with this. Sometimes they just need breaks. But what I'm saying is you can't, if, if you got a husband or a boyfriend that's out here working to provide for the whole household, yeah. you can't expect him to come home after he gets off of work and just scoop up the and baby. What's your work on him? You know what I'm saying? Like you got to, like again, we got to outsource this. We got to get family members or friends, best friends or somebody to help. Hell, even if you need a babysitter for a couple of hours, like I ain't saying go get no damn nanny because you shouldn't be no at home mom. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't be a stay with home a nanny. mom with a nanny, you know. But you know, hell, if you need to say, I just want to go to sleep for some hours, well, let me go to sleep for six hours or I need a half a day. Yeah. I need a goddamn babysitter just yeah. to come and watch the baby while I just go to sleep. Yeah. Like, that's understandable, but yeah. I ain't talking about no nanny. Like, that's crazy. But, like I said, I don't think now one of them is selfish. I think just they got to yeah. work it out. Like I said, I, I definitely don't think it's selfish when you when you saying, you know, I need a break. Like, everybody, everybody needs a break. You know what I'm saying? But I think it is selfish for you to you to need that break and then you force it onto him when he's been working all day. Now, this nigga been out there damn kicking it. With his homeboys and playing basketball and shit like that, then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's different, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But when this man literally works a real job every day, you know what I'm saying? Then for you to need a break and throw it onto him, that's selfish to me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we talking about this man is a Bob the Builder. I've been working on yeah, railroad work, work tracks. Like roofs a man, work on roofs all he day. Needs some, you know he needs some break too, right? You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that, that's then. Then that's when it causes. That's when it causes your relationship to get thin. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying because it becomes because the communication. There's no it. communication. Yeah, thing. because it becomes that's when arguments start, and then it ain't talking. Now it's yelling back and forth with each other, and it's problems. So now it's problems in a relationship. Now you know what I'm saying. Due to both people are stressed out and tired. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, and people, and people don't communicate. Like, especially when you're stressed and you're tired, they're not communicating. There's no communication, yeah. Like, because they, each other looking at them like, this motherfucker know I've been working all day, but you want me to come home and get these kids. Now I got to get these kids. And now I got to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and go back to work. And he like, she up there. I've been at home all day, all night with these kids. And I just need to, couple hours to sleep and he don't want to get these damn kids. Like that's... And, and nobody understands the other person. You yeah. Know what so, because he definitely ain't going to understand. He going to look at it like, man, you stay at home. Regardless of what you saying, regardless of what you saying, your ass at home all day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he don't understand. That's a job in itself. Right. Especially if you got more than one baby. So right. You have, you can have a, a newborn in the goddamn toddler. Yeah. And, every, yeah. and, and everybody always... Can't say I'm just gonna put the babies in school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you don't have school money. Some people can't. Some people they can't afford it. Hell, daycare. daycares are expensive. Da daycare, these days. daycare is another house note. Basically. Yes, hell, basically daycare is rent. People out here trying to get goddamn um caps. Mm. Well, I know I had caps mm -mm. I when I worked. I was into the radio station of the morning, right? So. Jotlin got this thing where they got. Oh this, yeah, they paid up. Where they, this lady really, this girl, young girl, really called in one day and was crying. She was like, "Y'all just don't know." She won for them to get to, to pay, get her the two hundred dollars to pay her child daycare for that week. Yeah, she was like, "Y'all just don't know." I just got through DMing y'all. I've been trying to get in through y'all for the last three days. That lady, she was ecstatic. She was crying. Because she couldn't afford her child's daycare. And they was kicking her child out of daycare. Because she could yeah. afford it. And they came through right on the right time for her to go take that money for her child to continue daycare. That lady was really crying. Like, she was crying so much to, like, shout it, shout it. And was just like, man, you know, just God is good, man. Just bless your heart, man. Like, we just glad we was able to do something 
to help you. You know what I'm saying? And all of them were just glad, just happy that they was able to, you know what I'm saying? They touched, she touched them. Cause yeah, that shit touched me. I almost start crying. Yeah. Cause I know the struggle. I understand. Yeah, she touched them. Like, like I said, I had we all done had caps. I had it when I back where about eleven to yeah eleven twelve years ago. I yeah. had it. Yeah. But anyway, y'all, um, these relationship talk videos are gonna be coming back. Um, hopefully. Mm. Once a week, I'm not gonna promise. We'll try. We'll week. try to do it once a week. We'll try to stay. We're gonna try to stay on a regular schedule with these. And y'all, I'm gonna promise it because I'm gonna make it happen this weekend. Y'all be looking out for sipping paint. We are gonna do it. I'm gonna promise it because I'm gonna make it happen. Okay. So y'all be looking out for sipping paint this weekend. Um, but we're going to get on up out of here. Make sure y'all like y'all comments and y'all share this video. With that being said, we will catch y'all on the next video. Peace. You can't stay out my damn chair. What you doing, Jack Jack? In my damn chair. What you doing, Jack Jack? Yeah, my chair, boy. Jack Jack, what you doing? <laughs>